Hello out there, welcome again to this tutorial on logarithmic equations. This is part 2 of this topic. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the previous video on logarithmic equations and other related topics. So we start with problem 1. Solve the following logarithmic equations. A log x squared minus 3 to base 2 is equal to 0 b log x squared plus 2x to base 3 is equal to 1 so we start the solution from a we are going to use the relationship between indices and logarithm here so that we will now have x squared minus 3 is equal to 2 raised to power 0 now we apply the appropriate law here 2 raised to the power 0 is 1 so we say x squared minus 3 is equal to 1 since any number to the power of 0 is 1 then we collect the like terms i write x squared minus 3 minus 1 is equal to 0 so that we now have x squared minus 4 is equal to 0 thereby forming a quadratic equation. I want to apply the difference of two squares here. Since 4 is a perfect square, 4 can be written as 2 squared, so that we now have it as x minus 2 into x plus 2, then is equal to 0. We have x squared minus 2 squared. So I pick x minus 2, then x plus 2 equals 0. So we still have our 4 there. Then we know that in a quadratic equation like this, after factorizing and we have it equal to 0, it is either x minus 2 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0, or both equal to 0. So Solving this, we have x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 2. And whichever case, since x is squared here, whether positive or negative, will still give the correct value. And that is the end of solution to example 1a. Then we go to 1b. For 1b, we have log x squared plus 2x to base 3 is equal to 1. Still applying the relationship that exists between indices and logarithm, we have x squared plus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 1. So 3 raised to the power 1 is 3. So we form the quadratic equation here. Bring this to this side. I have x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we are going to solve this quadratic equation by factor method. So to factorize this, um, I open two pairs of uh, brackets. This is x squared. I bring in x here. I have my x here. I am looking for two factors of the negative 3, which is the constant. And uh, the two factors, the sum will give us positive 2. So negative 3 and 1 are factors of negative 3, but their sum will not give us positive 2. So I interchange the signs so that we have 3 and negative 1. So positive 3 and negative 1 are factors of negative 3, and the sum there gives positive 2. So I have plus the 3 here and minus 1 here. These are the factors of negative 3. So this will be equal to 0. Now again applying x plus 3 equal to 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. So solving this we have x is equal to negative 3 or x is equal to 1. So if you substitute in these values it must be equal to 1. Okay, that's going to give us 9 minus 6, which is 3. Log 3 base 3 gives 1. We have 1 here. 1 plus 2 gives 3. Log 3 base 3 gives 1. So we are done there. We go to example 2. 
For example, two, find the values of n which satisfy each of the equations. We have log to base 4 n squared minus 2 n plus 1 in bracket is equal to 2. And b, we have log to base 2, 2 n squared minus 5 n minus 1 all in bracket is equal to 1. So starting the solution from a, we still apply the relationship between indices and logarithms. So we now have n squared minus 2n plus 1 is equal to 4 raised to power 2. So 4 raised to power 2 is 16. I have n squared minus 2n plus 1 is equal to 16. Then bring this to this side. n squared minus 2n plus 1 minus 16 is equal to 0. So that we now form our quadratic equation perfectly to be n squared minus 2n minus 15 is equal to 0 since positive 1 minus 16 gives negative 15 then we factorize again we open two pairs of brackets this is n squared we bring n here and this is n here so that we now look at two factors of negative 15 whose sum will give us negative 2 that's going to give us negative 5 and 3. And that will give us negative 5 and positive 3. So we have positive 3 here and negative 5 is equal to 0. So the factors are n plus 3 and n minus 5 equating it to 0. We have it as n plus 3 equal to 0 or n minus 5 equals 0. So solving this, we have n is equal to negative 3 or n is equal to 5. And that's the end of solution to example 2a. We go to example 2b. For 2b, we have log to base 2, 2n squared minus 5n minus 1 all in brackets is equal to 1. Um, still applying the relationship, we have 2n squared minus 5n minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 1. And from here, 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. So I have this to be equal to 2. Then we now form the quadratic equation from here by bringing these two to this side. I have 2n squared minus 5n minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, so we now have it as 2n squared minus 5n minus 3 is equal to 0. So we now factorize the left hand side. Um, still using the same method, I have two pairs of brackets. Um, this is 2n squared. Um, later, we'll remove one of the twos. So I have 2n here, I have 2n. And uh, we are looking for two factors of the product of 2 times negative 3. In our previous example, the coefficient of the highest degree is 1. But here, the coefficient of the highest degree, which is n squared, is 2. So we are going to make use of the 2. So we say 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6. So two factors of negative 6 whose sum is negative 5. So we can have it as negative 6 and positive 1. So we place negative 6 here and place positive 1 is equal to 0. So we can now remove these two since it is common. So we have it as n minus 3 is equal to 0 or 2n plus 1 is equal to 0. Solving this, we have n is equal to 3 or n is equal to negative 1 over 2. So we are done with example 2. We then go to example 3. For example 3, solve the equation log to base 3 m plus 2 is equal to 3 minus log to base 3 m minus 4. So to solve this problem, um, this, there is log here, there is a constant here, there is a log here. 
So we are bringing this to this side so that we have log m plus 2 base 3. Then bringing this to this side, it becomes plus log m minus 4 base 3 is equal to 3. So we apply first the law of logarithm since this is addition and they have the same base. So we pick the log to base 3 m plus 2 into m minus 4 is equal to 3. Then we can now apply the relationship that exists between indices and log reading. So we have m plus 2 into m minus 4 is equal to 3 raised to power 3. 3 raised to power 3 is 27. I expand this. So the expansion will give us m squared minus 2m minus 8 is equal to 27. Bringing this to this side, I have m squared minus 2m minus 35 is equal to 0. So having gotten this, we are going to factorize. So open two pairs of brackets. We have a m here and m here. Two factors of negative 35 whose sum is negative 2. So we have 5 and 7, and the larger number gets the negative, so we have it as plus 5 minus 7 is equal to 0. So that's m plus 5 is equal to 0, or m minus 7 is equal to 0. So solving this, we have m is equal to negative 5, or m is equal to 7. So we no, if you substitute the negative here, you have negative, negative, so negative times negative will give us the positive. We are going to have it as negative 3, negative 9. So negative 3 times negative 9 will give us positive 27, and uh, which the result will still give us uh, 3. So that's all for example 3 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel also. Until we come your way again, goodbye.